what is up everybody well you know we we make these youtube videos and and you know um after making so many of them you start saying well should i really load that video up you know it just didn't turn out the 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 way i really wanted it to um so sometimes we make videos i know i do anyway and if they don't turn out the way i want it to turn out i just not gonna load it up well i had that experience on the job i did not too long ago and uh, what it was was installing an April Air 700 humidifier. I left my camera at the house and all I used was my iPhone and, and I, I, I said, man, I, I just don't know if this thing's gonna uh, turn out the way I want it to. So I, it's been on my phone and, and I looked at it the other day and I said, well, maybe it's not that bad. So, um, so anyway, I kind of go over the job a little bit. A lady calls me her house is 23 percent humidity all the wood in her house is cracking uh she's got a wine tasting table that that uh you know i know she paid a lot of money for and as soon as you walk down in the basement this table is there and as soon as you walk down in the landing you can you're looking right over the table so you can see it and there's cracks in it you know some places i could stick my pinky down into so you know she they travel a lot they're not really home a lot so um, she came home after being gone for about a week and she said she was in tears so I went over there and said yeah well you know you definitely need a humidifier I gave her a choice to do a steam humidifier or an April Air 700 uh, along with doing a Honeywell Prestige IEQ stat um, now to me, if you're going to do a humidifier, you want the control being in the living area that you're in. Uh, you don't want it... Now, this is my own personal preference. Uh, and to me, it's only common sense. Why would you want to put a the controller, the humidistat, on the return plenum of a system that's not even in the area you're at? You know, uh, if it's in a basement, it's going to be a little more humid down there. And I know if you tape it all up, but to, but to me, I just don't think you get uh, the an accurate reading. Uh, and same thing with being up in the attic. And in this case, in, a, in this job, um, the system's up in the attic. So I, um, so I give her a choice between a April Air 700 and a steam humidifier. Uh with in combination with the prestige IQ. well the steam humidifier was just a tad bit out of her reach and so she chose to go with the 700 which will work just fine for what they need <clears throat> so i went over there and this house is uh zoned as well well when the contractors put the zone system in they used of course the strip down builders grade honeywell zone panel on, and on that particular panel, there was no option to uh, control the fan. It's just whatever the thermostat was saying, that's what was going to happen. Uh, on the, the higher end zone panels, there's a dip switch or a setting to where you can, if you want the fan to run, when one stat is saying, hey, um, uh, turn the fan on if you want those dampers to open then all the dampers open or you can set it to where only uh, one area if you set the thermostat to fan on you can set it to where just that one zone will call or open up um, so on their particular panel there wasn't an option for that so what I uh, did was I used that prestige IAQ stat and the reason I like that one when you're doing the humidifier is because you can, all you need is two wires to go up to the um, um, thermostat. So I chose that because I didn't want to have to run new wires. So uh, I get everything hooked up and I was like, well, there's no uh, setting on the board for uh, fan control. So instead of running downstairs and telling her, hey, you got to have a new zone panel. I said, well, I'll just add a relay and then we'll be all good. And sure enough, it works. Um, 
and works really good because I went from 23% uh, when I installed it to 42% the next morning. Um, which meant that humidifier was doing a lot of work. And, um, you know, I've had people tell me, well, uh, that humidifier doesn't work any better uh, if you just run it by itself in just a fan on position. Uh, or, you know, you really need to have the furnace working in order for, for it to work correct. And, you know, I gotta, I gotta say, well, from my own experience, if your furnace runs for five minutes and that's the only time your humidifier is running you're not going to get enough humidity in the air to make a difference uh, I have seen them wired up both ways and when you do one just with the heat now I know other people have different experiences uh, but I have just been to places where it was just the humidifier was just wired up to the heat and it only struggled to get to 30 percent and of course the ones that I wire up have no problem getting up to 40 45 50 percent so in my opinion you want the humidifier to work independently of the furnace so anyway, let's get on with the video and, and you know, you'll see what we did on that job. Alright, as you can see, you got water running down the tube. Um, right now, it is heating with only zone 2 column, which is the main zone. I don't know why they didn't make the living room area, kitchen area, whatever, zone 1 and make the bedroom zone 2. But in this case, zone 2 is the main zone. Zone 1 is the... Uh, master bedroom and there is no zone 3 um, but in order to get everything both zones to open as you see on this zone panel there are no dip switches on here to say hey if the fan is running I want the dampers to open um, uh, this is just a builders grade Honeywell zone zone board so there's no options there's no fancy bells and whistles nothing you just get what you get what I wanted to do is I want it when the humidistat called from the IAQ, from the Prestige IAQ stat, when it said, hey, I want it, I want humidity, I want it both zone one and zone two to call, to open up. But since I had no option of setting dip switches on the board, what I then did is I installed a relay to uh, fix that problem and I essentially just added a relay to the zone panel so I tell you what I what I did get the light maybe where you can see it um, I took my green wire from that came from my thermostat which would normally go to the G terminal on the zone board what I did is I took it loose from the zone panel and I hooked a wire from that empty G terminal and send it over to the relay and I hooked it up to the common terminal of the relay so that way no matter what happens you're going to get power from, from the common terminal up to the zone panel okay then what I did is I took the thermostat wire that came from the thermostat that I took off of the board and I connected this orange wire right here and I sent it over to the normally closed terminal of the relay and so what that allows is if if the air condition calls or just the fan calls it's going to send a signal from here to here uh, well for it's going to send a signal from the thermostat wire which is this orange wire now down to the common terminal and send it back up to the zone panel turn the fan on on the equipment well, so then what I did is I took the normally open terminal and I brought it from red up on the zone panel. And so what that does is it powers, it sends a 24 volt signal to that normally open terminal. So that way 
when the relay closes, when it gets energized, it's going to send the signal from here to this green wire, which heads back up to the G terminal. Now I got to be able to power my relay uh, from somewhere. So all I did to do it is I dropped back down to the to the module, and I just stole power from my U1 terminal uh, coming from the humidifier transformer that I installed um, and that's all I did because your the way I have it hooked up here is my red wire coming right in right there is goes to one side of you one well the green wire right there is the second side of you one and basically all that is is just a little relay in there so when it says, hey, I need, I need uh, uh, power to go through there, it just close the little relay, sends power from, from the top down to the bottom, and then up. Uh, so that's how I powered that relay. So as you see, zone one and zone two are lit, um, which meant the call for heat has been taken away from zone two, so now it's still calling for humidity and it opens zone one and zone two up just like I want it to. As you can see, it's 30% 30, 30 humidity. Introducing the most attractive way to solve comfort challenges and drive revenue. The completely redesigned Prestige IAQ from Honeywell. It's the first thermostat with brains and beauty, with the industry's only customizable full-color display and choice of high-gloss acrylic frames. For discerning end-users, it offers robust comfort control with style. The new Prestige IAQ still works in virtually any residential or light commercial application and now has four inputs for wired sensors or dry contact devices. Delta T alerts and diagnostics help ensure the system is operating as expected, and on-screen performance logs make it easy to troubleshoot on a service call. In addition, the new Prestige IAQ offers the same robust Red Link technology you trust to sell a complete solution, plus a full range of wireless accessories. Better comfort for your customers means bigger revenue for you. The redesigned Prestige IAQ. It's premier design and exceptional sales potential in one sleek solution. Contact your local distributor or visit forwardthinking.honeywell.com to learn more.